Alright guys, so today I'm going to show you a bit of my LEGO collection. Uh, this is just the city part over here, but I'm going to start out in the far left area of my room. Starting over here, it's a bit of a mess, but oh, down here we got uh, some accessories and weapons. Where That's where I keep those. And in here we got gray bricks. And then we got a little bit more gray bricks in here. And down here we got some black bricks. Uh, it's full, but you guys can't really see it. And over here is where I have my setup. Or usually animate. So I just got this display tower a couple of days ago, and uh, let me show you uh, how the setups are inside. Let me just move this real quick because it's keeping it, propping it all closed. So up here, we got a bit more of the Civil War, Avengers stuff. Yeah, it used to just be a Civil War with this, uh, that, th this, and this, you know. But then I put some Avengers vehicles and the Ant Man vehicle in here just so. Uh, I could get my Marvel collection from Stop Being So Bottlenecked. But uh, this and this are, that's from a new set I got. I also got a couple of other new sets. But down here's my Ragnarok setup. Really nothing special, just all the Ragnarok sets. And then down here is the police cars. Not really anything special, just a couple of police cars. And I got pretty much a DC vehicles I don't have anywhere else to fit. The, the Batman vehicles are just DC, uh, EU, and they don't fit in my Batcave, um, fucking display. But the Green Lantern Jet, I've just never had a place to put it. Now we move on to the Batcave display over here, where, of course, we got the Batcave up here. But I'm going to be more focused on these vehicles down here. Uh, I'm going to, this is just like the Bat Cycle from the A set. With Ace the Bat Hound, of course. This is from the... My only 2006 through 8 Batman set. This is the Robin Scuba Jet. Uh, this is from the Ra's al Ghul set, which is actually right here, but it's like a little bat dune buggy. Uh, we got the Batmobile, which was the 2016 BVS one. Uh, the 2016 Suicide Squad Bat Bike. This is the 2012 Bat Cave Bat Bike. The Red Hood Bike, which I got the sticker pad for the set, so I just put it on one of these motorcycles. Uh, the 2014 Batman Jet Ski, the 2013 Batman, uh, just like Ski, something like that. It's not really a bat boat. The 2017 Batman uh, Bat Cycle, but it's like, I call it the Nightwing Cycle because of this logo. It's from the Leg like, Bat Movie theme. The 2000 and, I want to say 15? Yeah, 2015 Bat Boat from the Deathstroke set, and the 2012, uh, Batwing, which has been in a state of repair and disrepair forever. As you can see, that just fell off. But, you know, I'm missing that sticker. And it was in the Batwing. So, let's move on to my DC Villains display. Okay, so this one is rather big, so I really can't get the whole thing in frame right now. But, as I'm, I'm going to move along from over here. We start out with this Bane vehicle from the Lego Batman movie theme. Then this, uh, you know, Bulldozer from the Lego Batman movie theme. Two-Face. Some stuff for Lex Luthor. Uh, the General's Odd Escape Pod, which I'm going to use in my next stop motion. That, that's also from a set I used to have, but I didn't even rebuild it. I just bought it again. This is from the 2017 Lobo set. 18, my bad. And this is from the same set that this came in. Pretty cool. I'm going to use like all these factory things for maybe like a laughing gas plant for Joker or something. Uh, Harley Quinn's motorbike, 2016. Penguin Submarine, one of my favorites over here. I used, I've had the set twice, but one thing cool about it is it actually has an underhood, and like the underhood can fit Penguin, and it also has this, and it has. This is the only place I have one of these missiles, where it goes like that. But I just flipped it over there. It's not far. And the only Joker vehicle I have currently built, otherwise than this, the Joker Lowrider. It's a cool little car. And uh, up here we got the Joker's Funhouse, with which of course you've seen in several of my videos. Then you got a Catwoman bike, uh, the Penguin's car, which is another cool Penguin build. The Penguin vehicles are really cool. Two Faces truck from 2012, Bane's Mole Machine, General's Eyes layerish thing. I don't know. Look, it'll look cool in the Death Star when I put it in there for my next stop motion. Uh, this is Lobo's weird bike. This is my only Riddler vehicle, the Dragster, and uh, this is Rachel Ghoul's little layer thing. All right, all right. Uh, all right we're going to move down here where we got the um, another one of my new sets, the Tony Stark Malibu Mansion. Uh, I just got, just, got, just got this recently, 
and it's a pretty cool set. It doesn't have any of the stickers, but everything else is pretty fine in it. And we got the Aquaman set back here from 2017 with the Justice League line. And uh, a lot of these sets over here, I don't really use that often, so they haven't been dusted in a while. This is the Log Cabin from 2017 or 16, I want to believe, but it, this hasn't been used in forever, so it hasn't been dusted. Down here, we just got the, the you know, Justice League 30th Anniversary Party, which I used in my 200 subspecial. And then we got the Lego Overwatch set I have. Just put it here because it was in my city, and I got more buildings for that. And the little Lego Wedding Pavilion. Now we're going to move over here, where I got most of my bricks. Mainly my green, red, blue, like transparent white and tan and brown uh this is actually dc minifig started with some minifigs you know i got a couple i got a lot of them from over the years and then we got wheels uh this is sticker pieces uh orange pink purple i just i have such like a minimal amount of all these pieces i just put them all in one bin this is yellow and Oh, instructions manuals. I have so many of these. Like, it's overflowing at this point. Otherwise, than, oh, man. Okay, so, but otherwise than that, up here we got some more accessories. Just some that I'm never, I never really use. And then over here is just some crap. And right here I got some action pieces that are like, you know, sparks. I put those here. Those are going to be used more in my videos. Uh, guns. Some Spider-Man web pieces chairs, a bunch of other crap, all my minifig parts that are loose organized, and now let's move up to the city where I have most of my buildings. I probably plan on getting a table soon, so this isn't, this is going to change into like something different, but we're going to start off um, left all the way to the right side. First we start out with the Sanctum Sanctorum set, the biggest set I own right now, currently then we move on to, oh boy, this is a disappointment. I just bought this off Bricklink a couple of days ago. It arrived today. It was missing so many pieces. So I had to like substitute it here. It looks so bad. But yeah, like right here. So I'm going to buy some pieces for this. Like up here isn't the same as this. I'm just going to re, I'm going to like buy these, buy the billboard, buy some of the, you know, fucking Daily Bugle advertisements. Finish off this roof. This thing falls out easily. But it's a cool building, nonetheless, and the interior is kind of screwed up, too. This up here is fine. I'm just missing that computer. Down here, I'm missing all that Spider-Man stuff, which is really cool. I can't, I'm mad that I'm missing that stuff. Down here, this is the only thing, actually, down there. Sorry that the lighting's bad. It's just my room has such a dim light. Then we got the Civil War airplane terminal. Uh, the modern modular house that has been built and rebuilt. The Lego movie... Uh, like about movie jewelry store, Spider-Man Homecoming ATM bank, the corner in deli store that has definitely gone through <laughs> repair and disrepair. Like I'm, I'm missing a couple of pieces from the set, and I don't have the sandwich thing in the middle, so it just looks like a couple of apartments or something. And over here we got the toy and grocery store, which I don't think I ever had to rebuild, so that's nice. <laughs> then we got the the 2017, I want to say. City Bank. This is actually this is a really cool set. It's definitely good if you want if you want it for Lego City. Then I got what's probably takes up the most space in my room, the Lego Police Station from 2011. That's the right year. Uh, you know, it's a pretty big set. I just got this in November for like 60 bucks off eBay complete, so I really like that. And uh, some of the vehicles I forgot to point out, like I just rebuilt this. Uh, it's just a stupid hot dog cart. Uh, this came in the Homecoming uh, Vulture set. Uh, this came in this set and just a stupid little scooter. Alright, time to move over to some messy stuff. Like, this whole area right here, it was originally like some Harry Potter setup, but I got a bunch of crap over here. Like, this is where all, all my Harry Potter wands are. You know, I just got a bunch of crap. This is what I, I usually dust off like with toothbrush, toothbrushes, because they really work well. The snake from the set. Uh, this set's pretty nice. I kind of want the Whopping Willow, too. I, I thought we were going to get that uh, sometime earlier this year, but it didn't work out that, as that. So, I still need that to complete a Hogwarts. And all of this stuff. 
trying to rebuild this set, the city pizza van. It broke down. Now let's move, and then there's some minifigs in here. This is where I used to have DC minifigs, but they overflowed, so I got Harry Potter. And some random citizens, they used to be down here. Uh, Star Wars. And down in here is now, actually, I'm just going to move this real quick. Down in here is Marvel. Yeah, I do have a lot of Marvel minifigs, just like DC. Especially over the past couple of months, I've obtained a lot of Marvel minifigs. And down here, I got a gone, uh, like, gone but not forgotten-ish thing. Because it's like my Spongebob little shelf. Because I haven't bought a set. I, ha I used to make Spongebob videos, but that's over now. And I really like this theme a lot, so I'm still going to collect it, but it's, like, not really a big deal. Like, these are some of the best sets I own. And then we move down, we got some of the worst sets I own, the Star Wars sets. These things are so overpriced. This was my biggest set at one point in early 2017 to, like, late 20, early 2018 to late 2018, but this had around 900 pieces, and it's not a bad set, it's just, like... This one's good, but it's like the Darth Vader transformation, and this set I'm not big fans of. The most Isley Cantina I got, uh, my brother got for his birthday last year, uh, two years ago, in Disney. But it's it's actually a pretty dinky build. It's pretty decent for the price it was sold at. So, and it's pretty good. It won't be used in a stop motion for a while, I'm guessing. So, over here in this. We got some big figs, otherwise than Big Fig Bane, who um, is in the DC minifig bin. And in the, in the, this is where my citizens used to be, but now they're over there. Uh, this is where I have some of my citizens figures, not that many. Some of my cops and robbers. Now, there's terrible, like, the sh my shadow's in the way, but there's a couple of them. There's a lot of them in there. Then under, like, Spongebob. I know you guys are really... This one's kind of just, like... Most of it's not even Lego. Most of it's Mega Blocks. But I do have a couple of cool Lego SpongeBob minifigs. But the Lego SpongeBob now minifigs over to are what I have like. left of my Marvel uh, little display. It used to be a lot bigger, but of course I put a lot of stuff in the glass tower. It used to be like bottlenecked. So I got the the Wakandan little castle that came in the uh, Infinity War sets. This is the little buzzsaw that came in the came in the set. This came in the Hulkbuster set. Uh, this is the high, my two Hydra vehicles over here. Uh, sorry. Uh, this is the Milano that I have. It's actually not that. It's a lot wider than I thought it would be when I bought it. And over here we got the... I got my shadow. Sorry, guys. I got the Iron Man 3 sets that I recently got. Two of these. Uh, my two Spider-Man vehicles. Uh, the Hulkbuster, of course. Vulture's Wings, Doc Ock's Arms, some Carnage stuff, a uh, Falcon, this came in a Homecoming set, and uh, the uh, that came in an Infinity War set, and I think that's about it for over here. Just wanted to show you this a little bit, uh, my boxes, I've started, I've had my boxes for a while, but this is like my closet, you can barely see it because the lighting's horrible, but like over here, I got some wide boxes, like, just pull it out, I got the Milano box over there. But, yeah, it goes all the way up to here. My box collection's pretty big. So, I just laid all my boxes out for my closet, and it creates, like, a full 360 circle with all of them. Yeah, it's pretty... Pretty big. I did not realize that it would create this much area around, but I'm going to have the fun of putting it away.